and welcome to 50 States of Gin with Sipping with Sam. Today I'm already on state number five, which is the state that I live in, Virginia. Virginia is for lovers, Virginia is for gin lovers, myself particularly, and the distillery that I've decided to represent, or to select to represent uh, Virginia, is Malarkey Distillery. Malarkey is a family-owned distillery with very distinctly Irish roots. The distillery itself is really beautiful, quite homey, and the people themselves are lovely, make you feel like part of the furniture when you arrive. <laughs> and really, like I felt like a regular, I felt so welcome and warmly greeted, and I was given such an amazing tour. So if you are looking for something to do on the weekend and you're in the Virginia state, do consider visiting Mulaki because they not only have this gin, they have a massive range of spirits that are well worth trying. The name itself comes from the combination of three family names, and that would be Mike and Tom Murray, Jim Larkin, and Jim's maiden name, mom's maiden name, which was Kelly. Together, that produced the name Malarkey, which is also another word for bullshit, but bullshit is definitely not what their spirits are. The 16 plate still produces a range of gins, or well not gins, just one gin, one gin that is wild and makes your imagination run wild. <laughs> they have so many other spirits which I was able to drink and there were a lot <laughs> but each was better than the next but the one that caught my eye and my palate was of course this Virginia certified as Virginia's finest gin. The botanicals themselves begin quite normal um, or quite regularly with the coriander, juniper, allspice, cardamom but then things take quite an interesting turn. They have added Szechuan pepper, um, grains of paradise, which is also quite similar to regular pepper. And then they've added fresh botanicals, which I think is really interesting. Fresh lavender, ginger, rosemary, celery, and lemongrass. And the reason being that these fresh botanicals brighten up the gin, which they really do. And they add a flavor that I've not quite tasted in any American gin and maybe possibly any gin at home either. Um, I think that all of these together play and make a really interesting and well balanced gin. On the nose, you definitely get that sweeter, green, fresher vibe. Um, on the palate, I get that, that burn and it's not like from a, a, if you ever drink an alcohol that's of a lower quality, that will burn your mouth. This does not do that in any way because, as I've said, it is a premium spirit. The bird comes from that Szechuan pepper and the, and the grains of paradise. It's a really warm feel. And then after that, I get a little bit of the ginger too. The lavender is a little bit far behind. I really wish that I could find this lavender bitters I've been looking for. But today, instead, I've opted to play with that ginger botanical. So I have in my shaker some fresh blueberries, ice, and a double shot of Milanke Imagination Gin. And I'm going to pour that into a glass. Oh, it got a little bit of pink color. And I was planning on using a pink Fentiman's Pink Ginger to top it all off with. Ooh, they look so pretty. Cheers. That doesn't taste like gin. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.